Hey everyone, today we are watching uh, the second game from the best of five between Team Grot and Team Easy. In the Team 1 we have the Grots, Bad Grot with Tau Empire, BBC, Good Grot with Imperial Guard, Jandi. In the Team 2 we've got Godlike Easy, Gigamog with Eldar, and Rampage Easy, Mihalic, also Eldar. Double Eldar against... Uh, Imperial Guard and Tau Empire. Let's see what will happen now. In the previous game, it was quite bad for the Grots. Now it might be even harder because of the matchups. Tau and Imperial Guard, very good allies, but still, it's very hard to face two Eldar players. It's very much also about team play. We have a very standard opening from um, Team Easy here. They, they're doing the same basically. Fars here on the way and Dark Reaper Stone are done. Yeah, they're, they're doing exactly the same build order. Jandi opened with infantry command generator to guardsman command squad and he places a turret here in the middle. He will block this way from this player. Good placement for the turret. BBC also got fast in here with a stealth suit. He did the force commander and Vespids, and now Team Grots went to rush wants to rush, rush one Eldar. They go towards Gigamog's base. Is that the best you've got? Let's see, will they succeed to do some significant damage? Two against one here. Mind War used on the general. Runs already low in HP. Psychic uh, storm was casted also. To damage the Vespins. Mihalic comes to help. He's a lie. Gigamoko wants to save the generator. Vespids got killed. Seems so. Very early in the game, Vespids die. Two psychic storms. The generator is still saved. Bad start for Team Grots again. Their rush failed completely. General got lost, Vespids died, Commissar will die. Yeah. Very bad start for Team Grots here. But they took the middle at least. And BBC takes this part of the map slowly. Uh, Gigamok only now manages to get out of the base. He gets his points here, builds the listening posts. Listening post also here upgraded for uh, BBC. Being upgraded. Dark Reapers. More Dark Reapers on the way from Gigamok. He's got two Guardians, one Dark Reaper now, and Fars here. He needs more. Mihalic has the Fars here. Two Dark Reapers and Guardians. Mihalic manages to take the top of the map. Good job here. Seems like Gigamok gets trapped. Will get trapped by this army. Will he manage to get out? I don't know. He seems to be in a very bad position. What could save him is a webway gate in here and another one here, so he can uh, teleport the army through the webway gate. But his economy doesn't really allow him to waste uh, 200 requisition now. He also needs to go tier 2. And this uh, way is blocked. Mihalic now destroying the turret and he will be able to help Gigamok here. Yeah, that's what they are waiting for. Also by the Wraith Storm got researched, a good ability to block uh, turrets and listening posts, they will not shoot while blocked. Also production buildings will not produce anything while blocked. 
by the Rave Town ability. Some engagement here. Still, Gigamok having trouble getting out of this area. Lots of Dark Reapers being killed. Farseer Dark Reapers trapped in here, they cannot get out. In the middle, Mihalic has to fight alone against two players. Well, it's basically one, because also half of the army is located in this place. Still huge army from Mihalic, he's got lots of resources. The best map control for him, 85 to 20 income. This area is controlled. Grenades being added for guardsmen. Jandi's economy 86 to 10, he needs generators more. At least two more generators. Uh, tier 2 for Imperial Guard is very expensive. And yeah, he adds one more generator. 8 to 30 economy for BBC now. What will happen here? Gigamog gets completely trapped. He might lose everything. Also the scan of Imperial Guard now. Nice move by the team Grotzen here to trap Gigamog. He tries to get out. Will he manage to do that? Maybe Farseer will be able to escape. She's still full HP. Dark Reapers got killed, Guardians got killed, Farseer got trapped by the snare, uh, my snare trap. Very unfortunate for Gigamog, he loses Dark Reapers and Farseer. Only has one squad of Dark Reapers now and goes tier 2, in not the best placement for this tier 2 here. 74 to 20 economy for Gigamog. 85 to 30 for Mihalic. Mihalic tier, tier 2 and 5 almost. Support portal on the way. Optics also being researched. Giant only now goes tier 2. And BBC hits tier 2 very soon. So, what will happen now? now that Gigamok lost half of his army, more than half actually. BBC goes for Optic Upgrade, makes the Pathfinder, two Fire Warrior squads, two Guardsmen, Tau Commander. Where is the Command Squad? Oh, it's here. Three Fire Warrior squads, actually. I don't know what uh, Team Easy will do, how will they fight this? Only two Dark Reapers from Mihalic and Falcon. He gets uh, the Fire Dragons out. Gigamok adds one more Dark Reaper squad and also builds the support portal. Maybe with Arlequins it will be possible to kill this army. Let's see, will they go for the Arlequins? The Elder players. Arlequin in, inside uh, the Falcon, jump in here, use the abilities. Could be very good to counter all these Guardsmen and uh, Fire Warriors. Some pathing here, Dark Reapers having hard time getting inside. Aspect Portal almost destroyed for Mihalic, bad position. They should do something, big pressure from uh, the other team. Falcon gets stunned, Arlequin gets out, but it seems like it will die very fast. No, Mihalic saves it. We are ready to redeploy. Huge army, how do you stop this? We are Let's see. Gamok destroys this listening post here. 80 to 30 economy for Mihalic. He's got lots of points, but still pretty low economy. He did not upgrade the listening posts. Jandi's economy 104 to 40, much better. It seems like a uh, Grodz victory, by the way. 
despite the fact that they've got a very bad start. Too bad Giganox army got trapped in here and he lost Farseer with the Dark Reapers. What will happen here? I can't wait. How will they stop this? Falcon jumps in here to take the fire dragons, it seems, yeah. Turret destroyed. Huge mass in here of infantry. Gamok only has one Arlequin and Falcon with two Dark Reapers. It's not enough to stop this. Warp spiders being produced by Mihalic. Will that be enough? I don't think so. 86 to 30 economy for BBC. 50 to 40 economy for Gigamok. That's very low. 86 to 30 for Mihalic. He gets the warp spiders. But it just won't, won't be enough. Warp Spiders, Dark Reapers will just melt from this uh, firepower from Team Groats. Look here, Dark Reapers suffering even from the Guardsmen. But now the Warp Spider jump might save them. Yeah, also the Arlequin. But he gets strip sold very low on HP. Gigamok also here doing some engagement. Will he manage to kill this? Arlequin is doing a great job. Dark Creepers also killed a lot. Will that be enough? No, this middle is very fortified. It's just not enough. Still lots of fire warriors, stealth suits alive, Tal Commander. Gigamok lost everything. Mihalic only has two warp spiders. It's over. Team Grotz will win here. Some heroes in here from Mihalic with the fire dragons. Still not enough. But this army right here is huge. Tier 2. That's why I said it's a bad position for this building. You lose this point and it's very vulnerable. Always better to keep uh, these buildings inside the base. GG. And the score now is 1 to 1. Gigamok keeps staying for a bit more. A Jandi already left. Yeah, it's over now. Good game. Very interesting start. It seemed like big losses for uh, BBC, especially when he jumped in here and lost all of his Vespids from two uh, Psychic Storms from the Farseer. All the Vespids got killed and Generator was not destroyed. Also General was lost for Jandi and the Commissar. Still they managed to win, they took the middle, they trapped Gigamok in here and gained a big advantage by doing that. Also the right play from Tau Empire with this mass of infantry, 3 fire warriors, 4 actually. Pathfinder, stealth suit, Tau commander, only ranged combat units, very good against Eldar, that's how you do it. Let's see the game stats. Highest score for uh, good grot, uh, Jandi with Imperial Guard. When units killed, a bad grot, BBC, has the best score, he kills the most, loses the less. 
on resources, uh, Jandi wins, on technology also Jandi. Good games. I hope to see you guys in the next ones. Two more games will come out soon. Stay tuned, subscribe if you are new, leave your feedback below and thanks for watching.